What's up everybody, my name is Michael E. Murphy. Before we get going, I just wanna say thank you to everyone that came up and said hello to us at Gen Con. We had such a blast. Every single one of you was fantastic. It was great. Or, act, you know what, I'm shooting this ahead of time. Uh, what? What if someone was horrible? What if some, yeah, oh God. Uh, what if I didn't have fun? Hmm. Three, two, one, grow. So now that we're back from Gen Con and all the craziness has happened, uh, we're getting back into a nice normal schedule here. But one thing that we always do is Meta Game Minute, where we talk about something in board games that's just been on our mind, something that we've been thinking about. And um, one thing I want to uh, talk about today is that variable player powers are the best thing in board gaming. I think it's the coolest thing. It's like, you can take any cool game and make it a way cooler game by making variable player powers. I know it's like a, a given for like expansions and stuff. You make a game, they have all these cool things and stuff, and then it's just almost like a gimme, you know, expansion. Like, oh, it's variable player powers and stuff, so it's thrown out there a lot, but I really do think it's great for board games. I, I just think it adds a whole nother interesting level of like, I can do something, a you can't do. I can do this, you can do that. I, I wish I had that, I can't, but that's your thing. But I'm gonna do this over here instead. Uh, and it just adds this another level of interest. I think it's a great way to infuse new blood into a game that um, maybe you've played a few times and still enjoy it and stuff, but you, you know, maybe it's not gonna hit the table as often and stuff because you're like, well, I've kind of maximized what I do in this game. I do A, then B, then C, and then I go to D. All of a sudden you have this variable player power and you're like, whoa, E is on the board now. I didn't know we had that other gear. That's interesting. I can go in this other direction to get to this victory. Um, and it, it just, it, all of a sudden there's that new excitement again. So variable player powers I think are so fun. I, I can't, let me know if you think of a, an example. I can't think of an example where like I've been disappointed by it or like I felt like it made the game worse. I really, I can't think of anything like that. We were just playing Eclipse the other day. We were playing it with two new people, a five player game. This is gonna be big and long anyway. So we played with a standard player size, but I love that you can flip those boards over and then every player will have a little bit of a different thing they can do. They have different uh, kind of economies that might be better for science or money or they're more aggressive or more like, I'm a turtle over here and do this. So I love that if you've played Eclipse a few times, now we can go next level. Um, and there's a, a, a kind of a new-ish thing to me, um, trend I've seen with variable player powers, I think is the ultimate, I wanna see so much more of this. It is variable player powers that have a really cool upside and also a pretty big downside. Uh, two examples I've seen this is with the Teotihuacan expansion, the uh, late pre-classic period, tough to say, and with um, Networks Executives specifically. In Networks Executives, you're like, look at you all this money, but they can't put on these types of shows, period. And you're like, oh, I was so excited at the beginning and ah, that's gonna be really hard, you know? Um, and Teotihuacan has similar things where they have this big upside, but like this thing over here just might always cost more money. You might get this big influx of things, but then you're gonna kind of have to pay money throughout. So you get these great, great um, decisions you have to make right at the top of like, okay. Not only is, so it's not just like, oh, I kind of have a cool power. It's like you have a really cool power, almost OP, and then they handicap you, you put a, you know, they put a, they pull a, a hammy on it uh, by saying like, but you have to pay for this and do this and this now. So uh, those are two examples of like variable player powers that are super strong and also weak in their own way to add this next level of interest. I wanna see more of that. Do you know of any other games that have like these upsides, but also a flaw or a downside? So you really have to weigh out like what strategy are you gonna take because now you're gonna be hamstrung over here but you're gonna have a really strong ability to handle this part of the game. Uh, again, variable player powers, I think are ways to instantly make games more interesting. Um, I would love to see more of it in base games. I also think it's a great way to add expansions. The two that I kind of cited are from expansions. Um, it's a cool way to kind of like let people get comfortable with the game and then add on another level level of, of play. So. 
Uh, what do you think of variable player powers? Uh, do you like them? Do you hate them? Again, for my money, you know, straight up, I think it's one of the coolest things in board gaming. A period. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And games that have the favorite variable player powers, like what games do it really well, put those in the comments below. We're always looking for new uh, and exciting suggestions. That's all I got for you this week. Again, thank you uh, to everyone that hung out with us throughout this whole con season. We're on a bit of a break until PAX Unplugged at the end of the year. So we're going to be doing a bunch of really cool stuff. We have kind of uh, the season three of the Brothers Murph coming up. Like we on August 10th uh, started doing our own channel. We did our very first best of the week. That's what started this whole thing off. So we're going into season three and things are going to shift up into a next gear. Speaking of like shifting up in gears and games and stuff, we are going to go into a whole nother level of things that's really exciting. So stay tuned for that. Um, that's gonna be starting to ramp up in the end of the year here and then kind of in the new year, uh, uh, you're gonna start to see stuff like really uh, start to get running like that, like a proper engine builder we are, the Brothers Murph. Uh, so we're about to go into round three where it starts popping off. Uh, so thank you for all the continued support. If you're new to us, I'm Mike. I'm just one half of this goodness here. You can subscribe to us to get tons and tons of videos, top tens and all those types of things. Thank you again uh, for all of everything that you bring to us, all the energy, all the love and support. We love it and we love you all back. Thanks, guys. Just remember, I don't know how you do the end. I'm not going to do the normal end because I'm just I'm too emotional now. So peace, more better, more better, whatever. Hey guys, I just want you to know that we have a Patreon and I'm hanging in here waiting for the next patron so maybe you guys can help me out before I fall because I don't have much strength, man. I might go down. Also, you can subscribe to us. I feel really unsafe. I think I'm going to fall. Mike, Mike, Mike. Huh? What are you doing? You're attached to a rope. Well, yeah, but they, yeah, but it still looks dangerous. Like that rope can hold up a Camry. You can just let go, you know. Can I? Yeah, you'll be fine. Are you sure? You want to see? You, 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 should, see? you shouldn't just, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, abuse the Patreon thing like that, you know? Yeah, you're right. You know what? I need to be taking down a peg or two. Can you lower me? Lower? Sorry. You can still subscribe if you want. Yeah, you know. You can upgrade your game experience with Game Toppers LLC if you want. Yeah. Or check out Restoration Games. But you know what? Don't do it for me and my fear mongering tactics. Okay, well, you know what? Hey, that was on you. Did you see that? That was on you. Did you see that? That's on record.